Right, so I'm going to run you through uh, the races and which will be your best one to start with, all right? So, I've covered many times. I'm nearly at 700 hours of Sky. I've done a thousand views. Like I've watched so many videos. I've watched loads of things. So, I'm going to give my take at the end of this uh, what you should actually start off as or your top couple uh, to take into consideration, okay? So, I'm not going to bother with the stat things. None of that matters. Do not let any of this crap uh, implement your choice for what character you should start with. Because once you get going, you'll start getting them up quite fast. All right, a couple hours of play, and you'll get whatever you need uh, to open well, one realistically. But you'll match out whatever plus block your character didn't have. But now you're matching it on this, but whatever. But anyway, right, so how to start. I consent to cookies. I don't give a shit about that. All right, so orcs, got to go through, no particular order, just whatever order on this, and then I'll tell you at the end, right? All we're going to go through is a special abilities and uh, if they're actually anything decent, okay? So this guy, he doesn't have anything apart from Berserker Rage, okay? Probably one of the, well, the, this is the best skill, all right? You take half damage and do double damage for 60 seconds. That basically means you are a wrecking machine, okay? And near enough, invulnerable wrecking machine. Right? Imagine you are Luke Cage, right? This is what you become for 60 seconds, only active for uh, once every 24 hours. So, yeah, you can pause time or obviously stand still for 24 hours straight on the, the fast tanked uh, bar. And, yeah, you can reuse it on your next hard fight straight away. But uh, orcs do have the best... Uh, skill hands down all right obviously this is no mods kicking in here no anything else okay obviously this is called berserker age your red guard um a guy that i don't think many people use but we'll cover his things i'll tell you about him all right adrenaline rush stamina stamina regenerates 10 times faster for 60 seconds poison resist your red guard uh blood gives you 50 percent resistance to poison okay this is more or less pointless yeah, you have many potions that can do that, okay, so it's not really worth a whole ability doing that because it's not, one, it's quite rare when you get poison, to be fair, and two, they're not very strong even when you are poisoned, unless you're on legendary and it goes like crazy, okay, but apart from that, it is a very unneeded uh, ability, okay, adrenaline rush, okay, this thing is still not that handy because you could obviously pause it and take drink your potions to get your stamina up. or you don't even need to pause it you can have it the hot bard uh, and drink your poisons because this this one can you you can only use it once every 60 oh sorry uh, once every day as well so again uh, not too fantastic all right so yeah he's all right as a one-handed sword guy that's what they're meant to be but the special abilities don't make him that great Okay, so Nord, your classic, classic, probably your default guy to go on with Sky and to be immersive because obviously it's the land of the Nords, all right? You're there for Talos. Uh, I was going to say Thrall Hellscream for some reason because uh, that was my character I was using and I know he doesn't exist. All right, um, my made up guy. So this guy in Nord, one. He has the first things. This guy obviously doesn't have anything. A bit of a adrenaline rush. Obviously, that makes it a bit faster, but still, it's quite crap. All right, so this guy's starting spell. Uh, Nordic Frost. 50 points of frost damage on touch, okay? So, he, he has got some abilities uh, to give some extra damage, okay? And Woad. Uh, shield, 30 points of damage for 30, 60 seconds, okay? So, it's like a iron skin kind of thing. So, you got a miniature version of that. It's just a little little self shield, okay. All right, interesting one. Battle cry target flees for thirty seconds. This can get you out of some fucked up situations, especially if you are playing on legendary. Things are getting overwhelming. Uh, blast that battle cry. Pretty sure that's once every day as well. Um, resist frost. Okay, obviously you are in Skyrim, probably the harshest conditioned area in uh, all of Tamriel, right? Well, temperature-wise, I know there is some crazy bits in uh, Black Marsh and stuff like that, but resistant frost, your Nord Blood gives you 50% resistance to frost. Okay, a lot of the dragons use frost spells, a lot of the mages use frost spells, okay? This is handy, very handy, 
in battles, all right? So take that on board, all right? Th this does uh, pay off big time, but he's not your best, okay? He's not your best guy to start with, okay? Night Eye, Khajiit. If you are wanted to be a thief or assassin, Khajiit is your hands down your best one to have, okay? Just putting it out there. If that's your play you're going for, Khajiit is actually your greatest one. Night Eye, a large place in the dark, permanently in Skyrim, okay? It is actually every, for 60 seconds, but you can use it. It's got like its own cooldown, so it's not every 24 hours. It's like, you know, whenever the cooldown's been done. It's not very long either, so it's a spell. So yeah, you can use it all the time in nights, and um, you can see fucking really well. It's really helpful. Dark, super dark caves, for most places obviously. Claw attacks, okay. Unarmed attacks do 15 more damage, okay. The, obviously if you're going for an unarmed build, he this is the strongest you can actually have. If you want the strongest weapon, start of the game, the uh, Khajiit's claws, are the strongest weapon you're gonna find. You know what I mean? Even the Dragon Blade has like a base damage of about around about 16 before you start boosting it or something like that. Uh, Imperial, all right. This guy, obviously, voice of the em Emperor calms nearby people uh, for 60 seconds. Okay, so there's chaos going on in the town. You start a fight. You shot a chicken. Um, this will calm everyone down. This will chill them back out. All right. This will stop them being enraged. Obviously, it helps on uh, vampires and it just helps whatever's people it'll chill them out okay imperial look uh anywhere gold might be found imperial seem to find a few more this is actually between two and ten gold more uh this will obviously mount up heavily if you're a guy who likes to go in all bits and bobs searching everything you'll you'll jump on that and, and you will over time gather a, a hell of a lot like you will be rolling in it yeah you'll be a bowler Okay, Dumbo of the Dark Elves, right? Quite a classic one, put in Elder Scrolls Online. It turned out to be one of the stronger ones uh, when I used to play. Mm. Okay, and so this is Wrath. For 60 seconds, opponents get too close, takes 8 points of fire damage. Basically, you have like a fire cloak around you and you just like, poof, enraged with flame. Uh, and anyone comes near you, just catches fire and it like tick, tick, obviously tick damage. Eight points of damage uh, per second, so you're ticking away. Uh, resist fire. Your dumb blood gives you fifty percent resistance to fire. Again, like the Nord, polar opposite with that. Right, a lot of things use fire. Dragons use fire. Mages use fire. Absolutely fantastic. I do. I've always liked the Dark Elves. You can make it look sick. Uh, but I don't consider this the best one either. Even though he's a beast, Bosmer. The Wood Elves, Command Animals, makes an animal an ally for 60 seconds. Pretty, pretty crap, because you can only do this once a day. And you can get a shout that can change him to be an ally once every minute. All right, so yeah, so that instantly becomes mute. Um, resist, sorry, resist disease and poison. Your Bosma blood gives you 50% resistance to poison and disease. Completely pointless. You can uh, cure yourself at any shrine, um, so it's completely unneeded whatsoever. All right, this guy doesn't have anything uh, particularly decent. <coughs> I say oh, he's there for an archer, but his skills, his, his passives, make him complete doggers. All right? Ah, oh, my girlfriend. Oh, let me just finish this video. I'm like a minute off it. And I'll call you back. An video. Yeah, I'm doing like a talk of all skills and stuff for uh, all, all the Skyrim characters. Alright, I'll call you in a minute. Alright, love you. All right. Anyway, where was I? So, Breton. Right, so this guy, he is quite the humanoid. Uh, guy, but actually, he is the the pinnacle of the human shield, right? So his main thing, dragon skin, right? Absorb fifty percent of magicka from hostile spells for sixty seconds, all right? 
That is phenomenal. You're absorbing Magicka, so you are completely topped out. And then, this is always, this is forever. Magic resistance, Breton Blood gives you 25% resistance to magic. That, that is unbelievable, right? You will not get how colossal that 25% actually is till you're out there, right? But especially on Legendary. If you want to go Legendary, I would heavily recommend this guy. Alright? Breton, yeah, just so you know, yeah, that guy's a monster. Alright, Argonian. If you're wearing glass armor, by the way, Argo nothing looks better than the Argonian whatsoever. His skin, invoke the power of the his to recover health 10 times faster for 60 seconds. Great if you get to the boss. But still, you got many potions, many spells to do that, so it's kind of not needed. Resist disease, your guardian blood is 50% resistant to disease. Again, pointless, because you can always cure yourself, cure yourself at a shrine. And Argonian lungs to so breathe underwater. Um, again, you, I would love that. I've always wanted there to be a lot more water-based things in Skyrim, but there just isn't. You're rarely in the water. So this is completely pointless, unfortunately, even though Argonian is probably one of the coolest looking and sickest dudes. Altmer, alright, this guy, highborn, regenerate, magicka, faster for 60 seconds. That's handy. Uh, but the high elves are born with 50% extra magicka, which is a hell of a lot. Alright, it's a hell of a lot. That's, remember, you can only boost your magic, uh, health, or stamina 10 per level so it may take you probably to about level 20 by the time you've got 50 extra magicka because obviously you've been throwing things on all your health and stamina so you'll realize you'll run out of stamina rapid okay so that's that's a help all right but all in all if you're wants to play and make the most we we'll go for the most effective character all right overall in the long run it will be actually the Breton. I myself have never played Breton. I always try and go very role play uh, with things but all in all Breton is a monster. Uh, Battle Mage I would go with the High Elf as a Battle Mage or even Breton again because they absorb 50% f uh, from things. I mean it's very hard to choose anything else. Obviously your third and fourth guy, well, third place is the Dunmer and the Nord. They're the third place things, okay? But definitely Breton, High Elf, and then third, joint third is the Dark Elf and the uh, and the Nord. Everyone else, it doesn't really matter. But hopefully that's helped you out a bit. Um, obviously, all you need to do is type in Skyrim, uh, Skyrim skill, character skills or whatever and you find loads of things like this but this is obviously what they have without mods this is the uh, default okay so like comment subscribe I hope you enjoyed please obviously let's try and get me up to 3000 subs alright I want to get there eventually alright I'll see you later bye bye